Yuko Hair Straightening System has acquired a patent in the United States and Japan. It not only straightens curly hair, but it also restores damaged hair to look healthy and beautiful. The outstanding technology based on this totally new concept has been recognized worldwide. Yuko Hair Straightening System was created by Yuko Yamashita. The condition of the hair determines the choice of solution, the processing time, and the straightening procedure. Therefore, hair analysis is very important. When hair analysis is conducted, it is vital to check the hair type, hair chemical history, dryness, and porosity. The processing time for healthy and damaged hair differs depending upon porosity. The processing time will become shorter with repeated chemical procedures. This model's hair is assessed as having different porosities at the roots and ends. Therefore, different processing times are required for roots and ends. Since this step is right before the straightening procedure, it is necessary to remove all hair products and excess oil. Wash the hair gently to avoid damaging the hair and irritating the scalp. Use lukewarm water with regular pressure. Shampoo is selected based on the hair condition. After shampooing, apply a small amount of treatment and rinse. First, spray a generous amount of Kokoro G water on the entire hair. Then spray NanoKeep, especially on porous areas to replenish proteins and amino acids. Wet hair is fragile, so avoid combing it forcibly. Apply NanoBase on highly damaged areas to prevent the hair from being overprocessed. Avoid applying NanoBase on resistant areas, as this will delay the processing time. The solution is selected based on the hair condition. Before applying the solution, the hair should be separated into four or five sections. Apply the solution on the nape section first. Apply the solution one inch away from the scalp and in one inch subsections. Apply evenly and as quickly as possible to avoid differences of processing time. Make sure to saturate the hair with the solution. While applying solution to the roots and mid shaft, avoid touching the ends in order to process them at a later time because they have a higher porosity. The solution should never be applied to the scalp to avoid bending the hair at the roots, which may lead to hair breakage. Avoid pressing down on the panels with the solution to prevent it from making contact with the scalp. Never comb the hair after applying the solution to avoid removing it unintentionally. Applying tension to hair undergoing the straightening procedure may also result in hair damage. The processing time depends on the hair porosity. In this case, we will process the hair for 15 minutes. While processing, cover the hair with plastic wrap to keep the hair insulated and prevent the surfaces from drying out. Avoid pressing down on the plastic wrap to prevent the solution from making contact with the scalp. 
When the time comes, do the first elasticity check. Pick three to four strands of processed hair. Hold the hair tight and gently stretch to check the elasticity. At this point, the hair will be slightly hard and resistant to the stretch, which means the hair is not ready. Let's watch again. When doing this, do not damage the hair by stretching it too many times. Now, the solution is applied to the ends and the untreated areas. After applying the solution to the untreated area, the hair should be left for processing based on the hair condition. At this point, the hair should be more relaxed and soft. Pick three to four strands of processed hair. Hold the hair tight and gently stretch. If the hair can be stretched from one to one and a half inches, the hair is ready. Wash the hair with lukewarm water and regular pressure. The hair is very fragile at this stage. Rinse the nape area first to avoid hair breakage and bending the hairs of the nape section that is touching the basin. Shampoo is selected based on the hair condition. Rinse out the solution thoroughly, then shampoo. Make sure to wash gently and avoid scrubbing to prevent any damage to the hair. After shampooing, apply a small amount of treatment and rinse. After lightly towel drying the hair, spray Kokoro G Water and Nano Through on the entire hair and comb gently. Blow dry the hair downward from the roots to the ends. The amount of moisture to be left on the hair before ironing depends on the hair's condition. For healthy hair, blow dry it to 80%. For damaged hair, blow dry it to 90%. Do not over dry before ironing to avoid making it harder to straighten the hair. The way the hair is ironed is the most crucial part of the Yuko hair straightening system. It must be carried out carefully as the hair is still in a fragile state. Based on the hair condition, set the temperature of the iron. For healthy hair, set the flat iron at 320 to 355 degrees Fahrenheit and for damaged hair, 210 to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Start by ironing the hair around the face. Take a panel of one-third to half-inch subsections and hold it tightly at a 90-degree angle from the scalp. Then iron. When ironing the hair close to the roots, iron in a tapping motion to release steam. Then iron the rest of the panel slowly by pressing for two to three seconds through the ends. For longer hair, hold the midsection panel out at a lower angle and iron. If some sections dry out before ironing, spray Kokoro G water. When watching the ironing motion, it may look as if the hair is being pulled tightly through the iron, but actually the grip is slightly released. Never slide the iron when it is shut tight over a panel, as this will cause damage to the hair. Keep the panel straight as you press. Graduate the angle as you move down towards the ends. The hair should once again be separated into four or five sections. Apply the neutralizer of the same type as the solution. Apply the neutralizer one inch away from the scalp and in one inch subsections.
As with the solution, the neutralizer should never be applied to the scalp to avoid bending the hair at the roots, which may lead to hair breakage. There is a tendency to apply less of the neutralizer, so check the panel to ensure that enough neutralizer has been applied and saturated through. Never comb after applying the neutralizer. The processing time for the neutralizer is 5 minutes. Completely rinse off the neutralizer without shampooing. Use lukewarm water with regular pressure. Apply a small amount of treatment and gently rinse it off. To prevent the hair from tangling, do not over rinse the treatment. After gently towel drying the hair, spray Kokoro G Water and Nano Through on the entire hair and blow dry completely before ironing. Always direct the heat from the roots to the ends. Dry hair gently in the direction of the cuticle to have a smoother and shinier result. Finally, spray Tsuya Pata and finish off with the iron. Take 1 inch thick panels to iron and style. Spray a final coating of Tsuya Pata after ironing. The correct care for newly straightened hair is vital for the maintenance of beautiful hair at home. Advise the client to wait 48 hours before shampooing to maintain straight hair. Also advise the client to blow dry 100% after shampooing to maintain straightness and to lessen the tangles. For about two days after the hair straightening procedure, avoid tucking hair behind the ears, tying it up, or wearing hats. Keep the hair as straight as possible. Lastly, Share the home hair care guide with the client and advise them to use Yuko home hair care products that are appropriate for their hair type.